In this video, we are going to talk about Diels-Alder cycloaddition reaction for conjugated dienes. Diels-Alder reaction is a 4 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction. We name it 4 plus 2 because we have 4 pi electron here and also we have 2 pi electron for the alkene. So it is actually the reaction between a conjugated diene and alkenes. This reaction doesn't have any intermediate. All these three double bond, I show you by different color, they move simultaneously like this form. And it can produce a cyclohexene product. So reaction of alkenes with the conjugated diene can produce a cyclohexene derivatives for us. In this type of reaction, the conformation of the Conjugated diene is very important. We have two different conformation for dienes. This is more a stable conformation for dienes that we call it a strands. And this is a cis. In diels alder reaction, only a cis conformation can react. So S trans is more stable, but during this reaction, it should adopt uh, its conformation to the S cis. So if we have a kind of a structure, it cannot convert to the S cis. We don't have any Diels-Alder reaction for that type of compound. Let's see what type of diene and what type of uh, alkene is more suitable for this reaction. So this is diene. And in Diels-Alder reaction, instead of alkene, we call dienophile. Diene with electron donating groups. It's more reactive for the Diels-Alder reaction. And dienophile with electron withdrawing group. So it is better for diene to have more electron density and the dienophile should have lower electron density to be more reactive in the Diels-Alder reactions. Alkyl group in general, they are weak electron donating group. Also, if we have OH, OR, NH, it can be an electron donating group. But for X, for electron withdrawing group, we can have cyanide, we can have NO2, we can have any carbonyl compound like ketones, aldehyde, esters, acid. Here is the first example for Diels-Alder reaction. To make it easier, I would like to put numbers on carbon to find the position of branch and also double bond in our product. Always the product for the Diels-Alder reaction is a cyclohexene. The double bond should be between carbon 2 and 3. And on carbon 6 here we have a NO2. So this reaction is simple. So this is our final product. So here is another example. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we should have a cyclohexene product. This is carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. On carbon 2 and carbon 3, we should have methyl group. And on carbon 6, we should have carboxylic acid group. And here is our product for this reaction. When our dienophile has cis or trans isomer, then we should have the same type of isomer in our product. For example, for these two reactions, in both of them, we should have a cyclohexene structure, then our carbon 5 and 6, we should have cyanide group. At the first reaction, the cyanide group here, they are cis, so I'm going to put these two groups cis together. So we can put these two groups front or back, it really doesn't matter because this molecule has symmetry and the product is meso. And for the second one, again, we have a Diels-Alder reaction, but the cyanide group here is trans. So when we write the product, keep in mind, as still they are on carbon 5 and 6, but they should be trans together. Here is another example. This is our diene 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is our dienophile. So it has two electron withdrawing group, these two carbonyl group. So this is a suitable dienophile for this reaction. Again, we should have a cyclohexene product. But this is carbon 1, this is carbon 4. On carbon 2, we should have OCH3. And our carbon 5 and 6, we should have these two carbonyl group. And then the rest of the molecules. This is our product for this reaction. Here is another example. In this example, here is our dienes. And our dienophile. Uh, is alkyne so it is triple bond instead of double bond so it really doesn't matter 
So this is carbon five and six for our triple bond. So our product, so this part of molecule, it doesn't change. Then for the diene, diene can convert to the another cyclohexene. I'll show you by blue color here. These bonds that form during the Diels-Alder reaction. So this is carbon one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a triple bond here between five and six. Only one of these pi move. So we should have another pi bond on this side. And then our carbon five and six, we should have these two ester group, CO2 metal. This is our product for this reaction. Here is another example. It's almost similar with the previous reactions. You would like to know what is the product. Here is our diene. When we look at this diene, we can see that we have a S trans conformation here. So this diene is S trans. And because it is a cyclic compound, in cyclic compound, we cannot rotate this bond to convert the conformation to the S cis. So actually, the answer for this reaction is no reaction. There isn't any reaction for the S trans conjugate diene. Here is another example. This is our diene. So the conformation for this diene again is S trans, but it is different from the previous reaction. Because this is a linear structure and it can easily rotate and convert to the S cis. In the previous uh, example, we had a cyclic structure. It doesn't have the ability to convert to the S cis again. So this diene, it can easily convert to the active form. Carbon one, two, three, four. And one of these double bond can be our diene of five, five and six. So we should have a Diels-Alder reaction here, one cyclohexene here, and then the rest of the dienophile. So if you look at this product, this double one again is dienophile because it has two electron withdrawing groups. So if we add another diene, we can have another Diels-Alder reaction. So if instead of one mole, we use two mole butadiene, then our product is going to be this structure. One Diels-Alder from left, one Diels-Alder from right with these two double bonds. It is depend to the question actually and the reaction condition. Here is another example. We are able to use cyclic conjugated diene in the Diels-Alder reaction. The name of this structure is furane. So when we have cyclic diene, at the beginning we ignore the rest of the molecule. So this is just carbon one, two, three, four five and six then we should have a cyclohexene but on carbon one and carbon four we have oxygen so carbon one attached to oxygen then oxygen attached to carbon four i show it in this way to just make it easier for you but we know this kind of a structure it is by cyclo the oxygen it make a bridge between carbon one and carbon four so normally in organic chemistry we show this structure Still, we have a cyclohexene. It is carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Still, we have a cyclohexene, but between carbon 1 and 4, we have a oxygen as a bridge. To make it easier to understand, we can assume the diene in this form during our reaction. Then, this one can come and make a bond. So, the problem for bicyclo compound is if we have a group on the dienophile, we may have two different isomers. Here is another example for a cyclic conjugate diene. So, we can write again carbon 1, 2, 3, 4. We ignore this part right now. 5 and 6. So, I just would like to draw this structure in this form and react with dieno 5. Then, these three double bond they move and produce the final product for us with double bond and with cyanide group so actually in bicyclo compound there is two different possibility for a product this bond that i'm showing by the green we call it exo and these two bonds that i'm showing by the red we call it endo it is observed normally in the diels alder reaction the endo product is preferred because in the mechanism of diels alder reaction diene go over the dienophile so I'm showing by different color to make a diels alder reaction. So there is two possibility for cyanide group, for example, here. We can have cyanide group here, or we can have cyanide group on the other side. And you know, the cyanide group has triple bond. So on the right structure, the cyanide is inside of the structure, so it is endo. And on the left side, this cyanide is out of the structure, so it is exo. On the endo structure, this pi bond for the cyanide or for the other type of electron withdrawing group like NO2 or ketone or the other group. 
it can have interaction with this pi bond. So the pi bond for the diene and for the dienophile, they can interact with each other and this transition state is more stable. Then uh, the system would prefer to have this transition state rather than this one. So and finally, we have the end of product for our structure. To watching more video, please subscribe us on our YouTube channel.